In March of 2015, the Spanish government approves the gag law, despite criticism from the UN and its rejection by over 80% of the population. The new law violates the right of freedom of expression, banning protests in front of Congress, the holding of assemblies in public places, and the participation in a protest without previous notice. Faced with this reality, we decided to protest in the only way the law allowed us to, to a different kind of demonstration in Spain. Thousands of people marched to protest a new law that they say endangers civil liberty. But none of them were actually there. A unique way to express their discontent. The world's first holographic protest. Hologram tuntetista. Manifestation virtual à Madrid. Spain is a suitsan myonge shiwi dega dengjang eindende. La primera de hologramas del mundo. Via a website that allowed anyone, anywhere to take their image, convert themselves into an apparition. Sus imágenes, subiendo sus gritos, subiendo sus pancartas. Recreando a miles de personas reales. And it opens up some doors and capabilities that I never thought were possible. The underlying argument is that holograms have more rights than humans. I mean, that's kind of another part of the of the protest, which I have to say has it's quite it's quite impactful. You can't arrest the hologram, right? The protest reached a global audience of over 800 million people. 400 million impressions in social media opened a worldwide debate on the right to freedom of expression. 330,000 people signed the online petition to repeal the law, and the hologram protest went from the doors of the Congress to the inside. The mobilization, Mr. Minister, will continue, and the protest will continue.